collected? Yes, thank you. Calm and collected. Yes, absolutely. But I mean, and th but if people are going to interact with me, it's like, dude, please have something going on upstairs, or this friendship's not going to go anywhere. <laughs> I think that's important, but really to get followers, to get support. I yes. have to be that example. The biggest thing of my integrity is if I'm going to tell anyone here to do something, if I'm going to encourage anyone to do something, I have to consistently be that example. You wouldn't yes. really trust me if I was 300 pounds telling you to work out. I have to say I'm going to be the entrepreneur. I'm going to be the guy who's going to consistently show up, do what I say, say what I do, and yeah. then people will list kind of with because most people from what I've seen are looking for something to be involved they're like looking around and I had a friend in high school who said a lot of people are looking around for something to do or so someone to work with or someone to follow and when they see someone go off and doing their own thing they get excited and they say whoa that guy is doing he's playing with a yo-yo he has a Furby he has his own YouTube show he he's doing he's playing an instrument in a band doesn't it could be anything he voted for Donald Trump <laughs> I don't know if I well that not really <laughs> but, but yeah sure <laughs> I'm not talking about you uh, <laughs> killing that was me. a good joke that was, that was a good joke I like that that was good anything other than voting but no <laughs> no, because that's mainly like people like vote for this guy, vote for you want to be the dude who's like I'm gonna vote for Harambe, <laughs> the gorilla, and then people are like, "Whoa, Kareem, I never thought of that. We could have a dead hey, gorilla as president." You know, you, know the, you know what the cool thing is? At least the dead gorilla was honest, because he's dead. Yeah, see, there you go, and and that's kind of being a trendsetter, voting for Harambe. <laughs> Making your own YouTube show, coming up with your own ideas, writing your own book, and then people will go, "Whoa, I saw Kareem and Chris do that. I wonder if I could do that. I want to be that." They were a pretty good example, and that's how you get followers. You you do something that you that you do in your own time, in your own personal space, with your own <clears throat> visualization and persistence, and then wow, people see that creative idea and they say I wish I could do that I wish I could get up there and say those things or make that kind of art you can, you can. You just have to want to do it right Ferdinand and Sharon exactly 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 <laughs> no, it, it's very I think this is one of the most important points in my opinion really it's more important than the rest yeah even though Mike is not here which yeah I guess Mike he's here in spirit and, and he usually is, but <laughs> the interesting thing is he just had the idea of that exactly, and why that kind of worked with me is I'm like, whoa, there's someone who's actually going to teach me what to do with this online currency thing, and they're willing to sit down, and they have, he has his own vision too. That's why it's so nice to hang out with people like Micah and Jay and Bruce, because they themselves are getting enlisting support because they have the, all of these qualities we mentioned before, persistence, having a dream. And that's, what, that's why not only do I want people to support this, I want to also be part of what they're doing. It's exciting when people have a hundred different projects. And I'll even quote uh, my friend Ash Whitener. He made a good point actually about libertarians and, and voluntarists and people in the freedom movement. And I really like, I, I generally, you know, don't go around promoting statuses and if he sees this, you know, it'll be interesting. But he, he wrote something interesting about getting followers and about fixing the conditions we live in. I'm gonna share my screen. What he said today was, if only 10% of the libertarian community would actually build their own freedom, Instead of bickering, whining, and complaining about the state, we would have thousands of examples of successful, independent, and free society rather than being laughed at and marginalized. I thought, whoa, that's actually the problem. There's a lot of people who are like, man, I don't like the pot's not legal. I don't like high taxes. <laughs> and but, I do all a whole... but all those are Donald Trump. Good job, guys. 
Yeah, or just I'll, you know, I'll get mad and I'll yell about it on the radio. Here's the interesting thing. There's tons of people who are yelling at a radio or a video or a podcast or whatever about things they don't like. Yeah. But there's very few people, I would say less than 1% to 5% I've seen of those guys who are complaining, that will actually get up and say, I don't like taxes. What am I going to do about it? Am I going to make my own cryptocurrency? I don't like the fact that this issue exists with social media. Am I going to try and, and I know that's crazy to say, make my own, but it's possible if you, you sit down with WordPress and BuddyPress for a while. Mm -hmm. and, that, and that's building your own freedom. You're getting, oh, but most people are like, oh, I'm scared. Ah. And then that's why. <laughs> They don't, they don't get much supporters because even though they have a good message at heart, they want to give people more freedom. They want people to be more free. They're not building their own freedom. That's my logic. Yeah, exactly. That, that's because they are afraid, you know. Yes. You, 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 you yeah, can... Uh, Go ahead, you, sorry. You see it out there. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm not smoking pot. <laughs> no. Um, oh, it's like it. there's a group of people, okay? And... Everybody is, uh, I never do something. And then the first starts with, oh, yeah, I'm smoking pot then. And then you see the people <laughs> pop up like mushrooms. Oh, you smoke too? Yeah, I smoke too. <laughs> and then the next time, ah, yeah, sometimes, sometimes. You know what I mean? That, yeah. that they are afraid, but when, when people see um, that they aren't the only ones uh, thinking that way and that there are more here, they aren't afraid of telling you their opinion. Anymore. Actually, yeah. Yeah, I like that. And actually, I'm going to throw this in kind of an interesting direction. Is anybody familiar with Ross Albrecht and the Silk Road? Now, I, I'm in no way condoning any type of substance use, but I will say it's dangerous to acquire one. Like, it's scary. It's like, ah, and I don't know how we got to this point, but. It's probably because I mentioned the whole libertarian thing. But his idea was to make a website called the Silk Road to make it safer for people. He didn't just complain like, oh, man, you know, it's hard to, you know, find the insert substance you want. He actually created a website. Now, he got arrested for it. But here's the interesting thing. There's people who want to get him out. And the Silk Road was just an anonymous thing. He went under the username of Dread Pirate Roberts to help the world find a safer alternative, even though it's un to unsafe substances. He didn't just sit there and complain on a podcast. It's not working. And that's really what I see when it's like build your own freedom. If you want to get supporters, if, and he has millions of supporters, people who want him. Now, if you want to actually create ostensible change, get a following, you need to pick it up. You can't complain. You have to see where you want to be and start creating that vision. Even if you just have a webcam, even if you just have a paintbrush and no Canva, figure out a way. There's always a way. Yeah, yeah right. Um, of course but you can only get supporters, you know, when, when you stand for your own thing here. If you yeah, stand no, up and say, hey, this is my opinion, okay, then you can get supporters, but you can't get supporters if, if people ask you, hey, are you really believing you can get rich, okay? There are a lot of people that, that are ashamed. People are ashamed of telling people that they want to get successful. Mm -hmm. And then they say, oh, yeah, well, I know it won't work, but yeah, I want to get successful. And then they won't follow you. But if you stand there and say, yeah, exactly, I want to be successful 100%. And look, this is how I'm doing it. Then they get interested in you, not yeah. in you. And I can even attest to this. I haven't talked to the guy, but I'm sure OK Toshi went to some point and said, this is my idea. I'm going to create this type of currency. I'm yeah, gonna create, exactly. I'm going to create something called OK Cash. And it's going to do so well because of the name OK. And there were people like, eh, I don't know. And then funny enough, when he did it, he probably has a whole room of followers. I've seen it on Discord. Exactly. Oh, OK, Toshi. OK, Toshi is the best example for, for this point here. He started alone, you know, 
and then a few guys joined and it escalated. I think now in their Discord channel, there are like 350 guys or something. 